morning. It is Tuesday. It is 7.25 and everybody's out of the house already. So, and I have already showered. I got an early-ish start to the day. It's sort of misleading. I get up early, about 6.15, but I don't usually get dressed and shower and all that until after everybody's gone. Anyway, I'm just checking on comments from yesterday's video, already this morning's video. My big plan for today, the schedule is, I need to go to the post office and pick up another package that was sent to me from Coastal Sense. Um, I guess they require a signature. I don't know why, what they could possibly send me that is so expensive that it needs a signature, but whatever. Um, the post office is nowhere near my house, which is the only irritating thing about it. Um, and I need to stop by our accountant and pick up some stuff so that we can work on our taxes. Yay! So much fun. Love that. And, um, there was something else. Oh, yes! I have to put together the vlog from the behind-the-scenes shoot that Erin and I did together for Clinique. We are going to post it at the same time on both of our channels. So, but since I have all the footage, um, I'm the one who's going to edit it, and she sent me all of her still pictures, and anyway, so if you are not yet sub sub <laughs> I can't talk, it's too early. If you're not yet subscribed to Clinique's YouTube channel, you need to do that and catch up on all the videos from the series that you haven't seen. Erin and I aren't actually in them, but we are in the um, introduction clips, the little title sequence. So they're little three to five minute videos. They're fun. Go watch them. I don't get anything out of you watching them or not, but um, I think you'll enjoy them, and it certainly made me more curious to try some some more Clinique products that I just was not a brand I really looked into other than for mascara, and boy, am I missing out. So, anyway, that's the plan for today, and um, by the end of this vlog, we'll see how much I've actually accomplished of what I wanted to get done today. Oh, and I'm trying out the new Living Proof products. I've already done the wash and rinse thing, um, obviously, in the shower, and then we'll see how the rest of the products work today. Outside. It recommends air drying. I cannot wait any longer. So I'm gonna give it another try on a day where it's not quite so humid. Do you see the little Wrigley? Do you see that? Oh my God, he's so cute. And then there's the other one. Mid-morning mat, mid-morning nap. Okay, I'm sitting in the parking lot at the post office where I have to say I had an unbelievably pleasant experience. It was slightly unexpected because that rarely happens. Everyone was very kind and helpful and smiley. Like I said, rarely happens at the post office. Anyway, I got a package that I had to sign for from Coastal Sense and all I've done is opened the box and pulled out the stuff on top, which was an I Heart Makeup sticker, an I Heart Makeup card, and this teeny tiny whittle bittle quad of things. Nude, amber bronze, platinum blue, opal black. I will try that and then I'm taking out, I think it's wrapped in this thing. Maybe it's not. Let's see, I'm not supposed to show, well, it came yesterday, which was the first day I was allowed to show it. So oh, it is in here. Okay, unfortunately, the rest of today's videos, until I get home again, are going to be on my cell phone because my camera died. The battery indicator light is misleading. I had two bars left and then it went. Anyway, this, all that giant box, this is what was in it. This is the new Coastal Sense Revealed palette number three. And I've not opened it yet. I will say I do like the little, how thin it is now. This is what it looks like. I'll take off the plastic cover. It looks like this. So very reminiscent of the Naked 3 palette. They're not even remotely trying to be subtle about their faking it or about their copying somebody else. There are some really beautiful colors. I am very interested in those two particular gold shades, kind of kitty corner to them each other. Ooh. This is the one on the, whoops, there's a camera. There's the one on the top. And this one is on the bottom. I can tell you these are not as pigmented as the Urban Decay ones, obviously, but they don't cost as much either. So, you know, I think this is a nice, there's only one, two, three, four. Well, you know what, I don't know, I'll have to play with this. But I, um, I would say that, I, I don't even know how much this is. They give me no information. I'm betting it's around 20 bucks. 
and um, there's some really pretty colors in here and I think a lot more wearable colors than the Naked 3. Can you tell I'm not a fan of the Naked 3? So cool. I can't wait to play with these. I'm at Michael's and I found what I, I talked about this with Erin the, on the phone on the way here and she's horrified that I'm turning into some crazy teenage girl but I've never had a girly room. I'm surrounded by testosterone and it makes me happy and that's what's going in the room and if it looks a little too teenagery when I get sick of it I'll take it out but right now this is what I want to put in my room. Find a letter M and I'm gonna put this fun washi tapey stuff. I can find gold because that's what I think would look best and see add paper glitter paint whatever put the lights in and light that sucker up so i'm gonna start looking for what i can find find me an m hey guys i'm back my camera is recharged actually i just popped in my backup battery i just had the most fun experience a subscriber emailed me with a problem that we have both had um mine way in the past pto pta issues and um I've recognized her name. She's been watching for a really long time and commenting for a really long time and sometimes it's just easier to talk and, and not type. So I emailed her and asked her to send me her number and she did and I called her and we just had the best conversation. I hope I was helpful but um, it was really nice to hear someone's voice so I've been commenting back and forth, Facebooking back and forth and anyway. So if you ever do email me, I'm not saying I can call everybody but if you ever want me to call you back, include your number. You just never know. Um, I got such a kick out of that. It's like the next best thing to a meetup. So, Natalie, thank you for answering the phone. At my dining room table, I have taken uh, the G thing. I keep singing, ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Okay, anyway, um, I've taken it out of the box. It comes with this stencil, J, and a little instruction thing. And then here's my J thing. My J thing. Ooh, crud. And there are the lights. I need some AAA batteries. And apparently, oh, light bulbs. Ooh, fancy. And then I bought this pack of paper that I can take this stencil onto and we can vote. Hang on. Are we examining your shoe? No, look at it because it's like neon inside. It is neon inside, but it shouldn't bleed onto your socks. Let me see your socks. Huh, that's kind of gross. So, what do you think, kiddo? Which color? I'm thinking G, like like glitter, gold glitter, because it's gold girl, gold bird, gold, gold, gold. What do you think? Get out of here. There's many oh, sheets of do. gold. There's white glitter, that's kind of boring. Woo, pink. That's like your phone case. I know. See that? And there's that one. I think I'm gonna start with gold. I don't know why I'm asking you. Your opinion does not count at this point. But thank you for humoring me. Oh, silver too. You want to be in the shot? Mm -hmm. Bam. All right. Alrighty then. We're going with that. So I am getting a preview of tomorrow. Well, let's see. Wait. When this goes up, it'll be the same day. So if you want to see this, this is on Aaron's channel. Our um, impromptu, very impromptu interview with Elaine Turner, and yes, that is a glass of wine. I didn't really drink it though, and I couldn't actually like stop filming and put it down, so I had it in my hand the whole time, which is awkward and weird, but there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna get down to my little arts and crafts project. Okay, my arts and crafts project is complete, and I am in my guest room. Um, let me turn it around. So I moved my little Buddha friend over there. The thing with the Buddha is I literally found it on my doorstep, doorstep a few weeks ago and it's decorative and cute, so I put it there. Um, I'm not like totally attached to it or anything, it's just filling up a space and as I find more interesting things to put there, then that's where it will go. Maybe I'll switch places and put it up there and put the, anyway. There's my J. This is my little light up corner. Here's how I turn on my little lights. I'm not going to turn them both on, but is that too much? Let's see how it looks from back here. Let's pretend I'm filming a video. I have the ring light set up. I have not actually turned it on yet. I mount my camera on that though. So it's there. I just haven't turned it on. Let's try an experiment. So I'm setting the camera down on it. No ring light. No lighting at all really. Um, and then now it's on. It's on its lowest setting. 
It's not bad, guys, right? Let's see. Let's turn that sucker up. Wah! See, it's not the ring light that washed me out before. The ring light, it's, I don't know, I think I've got it down. Whatever button I press, that is blinding. That is at its highest setting. I can't really see because it's glaring, but anyway. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think about, forget the ring light for now. Let's talk about my J. Ain't nothing but a J thing. Okay, I gotta stop. Um, I'm looking up in the viewfinder. If I go like this, you can't even see the G. This is a decorating all right, dilemma. All right, put it back on. All right, so. <laughs> you just want to see yourself. No, okay. Are you going to be in my background? No, I know, I know what to do. So, okay. get, get where you usually see it. Okay, but it's usually zoomed in more. We put the G on the top. Put the G on the top. Put the foot or the base down there. Okay. It's like that. So you can't even see the other side, really. Mm -hmm. I got a monkey with this. So it's gonna kill you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Don't, no, put my Buddha back. All right, we're gonna, we'll, we'll figure this out. This is not rocket science, but apparently it is. What did you do? Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a little coffee break. Bosley's hopping on the bed. Hello, Bosley, you brought me a fox. Thank you for bringing me that. Now here comes Wrigley. Um, he keeps nudging my elbow, so if the camera moves. Hey, hey! <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. For those of you who are thinking of trying the crab cake recipe, I've gotten feedback from the boys who are begging me not to make them eat it again tonight. Um, apparently they didn't like it as much as they said yesterday. They just didn't want to hurt my feelings. My husband loved it, but... He'll eat almost anything. He broke his nose when he was a baseball player and he has very limited sense of taste. So take that as it, uh, so when he says something tastes really good, well, it's, it could also be rotting flesh. He might not know the difference. Anyway, I'm gonna make pancakes. It's National Pancake Day. So that's what's gonna be for dinner tonight. Thanks to my handy Bisquick in a jar recipe. So I'm gonna have my cup of hazelnut decaf coffee watch a few minutes of the Graham Norton show before I start making pancakes and I'm gonna call it a night. I shall see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. All right. Dennis went great. No cavities for the kids and just dropped the little man off at school. I'm just leaving the parking lot right now.